Autumn here. Welcome to my studio. Today I'll be sharing a speed paint of this tiny green moth collector and talking a bit about my process. Art That Inspires and Uplifts by Autumn Rosario Hall. Today I'm going to be working on an acrylic painting. I'm going to start rather loosely by blocking in the figure and the background. This is Sweet Tiny Green Moss Collector. She is a character from my collection of short stories called Tales from the Scraggle Wood. This is the first illustration that is going to accompany her story. Sweet Tiny Green Moss Collector had many seasons to her life. They cycled over and over like repeated footsteps spiraling ever outward. Bit by bit, basketful by basketful, she sews moss always knowing a little more is needed. Sweet Tiny Green Moss Collector is a recurring character in the Tales from the Stragglewood. She is often seen along with mosslets, these little hedgehog-like creatures that spread moss wherever they grow. For this painting I have her sitting on an old bottle which if you ever take a hike in the woods or a local park you'll see that there's usually lots of trash in the woods Oftentimes you'll find old coffee cups, beer bottles, pop cans. So including those elements is an important part of the Scragglewood because I don't want to gloss over the fact that our woods are full of trash. The Tales from the Scragglewood also focuses more on urban wild places instead of old growth forests. The, um, those places are usually sort of in transition and you can find all sorts of odd bits and ends growing there or just within them. Next I'm going to begin by adding more details to the moss and a bit of shadows on the bottle and start building up the depth by adding more layers of color. Next I'll go into the face and hair. Um, for this next clip the camera did shift a little from where I placed it so I apologize you can't see as much of the details on the hair but for hair I usually just build it up at short tiny strokes over and over. Um, use mostly the same technique on the moss and most of the details for the painting. For me, the detail work is just going back in and kind of bringing out what I want to show, highlighting different bits, and then usually at the end I'll add the highlights with an opaque white. There are many different types of moss you'll find here in Iowa. Some of it has little fern life leaves and some of it has little star patterns. The moss I use for this painting, as you can see, is the one that has a little bit more of fern-like tendrils that tend to come up taller than the bed of moss. I've spent a lot of time observing moss. I have a bunch of photos of it on my phone, and I even have tried growing little bits of it in terrariums or plastic containers. So I've had a lot to study from to get inspiration for this collection of paintings. Next I begin working on her basket which is sort of behind her. This is where Tiny Green Moss Collector puts most of the moss she collects. She also has a little satchel for it which isn't shown in this picture. But she carries the moss on these journeys that she goes on to plant new moss so she needs a big basket which she carries with her to transport the moss. Here I'm going to block in some sorrel which is a ground cover. It has little green clover like leaves and small yellow flowers. Uh, you might also know of it as sweet and sour grass and it is an edible native. I'm also really excited about this little frog. It's the first cuter type frog I've ever painted so I was happy to have her with the little green moss collector. If you've enjoyed this video, please let me know. And if you are interested in seeing more art from the Scraggle Woods, uh, please just head over to my Instagram. I have lots of the illustrations I've already completed up there, or just look up the hashtag Scragglewood. My Insta is autumnrosariohall.art. Thanks so much for joining me for this speed paint. In the finished painting, you'll see I added a lot more foliage to the background, which I didn't have time to film. Here is Tiny Green Moss Collector.